The year was 1927. Kevin Coolidge was president. Philip Farnsworth developed the first television transmission of the dollar sign. The first transatlantic telephone call was made. Nineteen years after the release of the Model T, Ford Motor Company introduced the Model A. Charles Lindbergh makes first solo transatlantic flight. Oh, sister, ain't You Sweet by Ben Burney is the number one song. These were the Roaring Twenties, but there was another kind of roar in the land, the roar of the floodwaters of Mississippi River, as the rains fell and the levees failed. Secretary of Commerce, Herbert Hoover, was quoted as saying, This is the greatest peacetime calamity in the history of our country. Neighbors helped one another. Rescue missions took the form of loading the flood victims onto boats. Grady F. Jones put it this way, All the cattle were lowing, all the dogs barking, every rooster crowing, babies crying, women screaming, and all hurrying to high places. According to Herman Colonet, who was a volunteer rescuer in 1927, there were a couple of times I had to raise a gun and say, if another one of you jumps in, I'm going to shoot the rest of you off the top of the house. That slowed them down. Chickens would automatically jump in the boat to see. Of course, people who had geese and ducks out there, they were happy. They were swimming around. Joe Simmons, another 1927 volunteer, told this story. I went to get him, the neighbor, and the cow came to the boat. I tried to push back the cow. The cow commenced hollering. That cow was going to come in, so I shot it. That was the only thing that saved us. The government provided pup tents and set up camps for flood victims. Supplies, such as food, were shipped by rail. Women were taught sewing lessons, and children were busied with games. As the waters subsided, residents returned to their damaged property. Miss E.J. Smith helped her father clean up. Daddy had raked the mud out of the house and gotten most of the rattlesnakes, but the smell was there, and it smelled terrible. The Flood Control Act of 1928 was implemented. This began the overhaul of northern Mississippi. The Corps of Engineers planned the levee system and the building of four flood control lakes. The four lakes, Renata Lake being one of them and the other three in North Mississippi, it is a part of the comprehensive flood plan that the Corps put in to prevent another 1927 flood. The lakes were delayed due to lack of funds during World War II. Sardis Lake was completed in 1940, Arcabella in 1943, Enid in 1952, and Grenada in 1954. Mr. Merle Bell of Grenada, Mississippi, worked as the lead carpenter for Mississippi's largest reservoir, Grenada Lake, in 1950. His hourly wage was $1.25. He said these were very good wages back then. Lands that had been in families for generations were purchased by the government to use as the lake property. Two major highways that went through the lands where the Lake Lake is, is now, and that being number 8 highway going toward Calhoun City and number 7 highway that went to Coffeville when the lake was built. And along those highways were service stations, little stores, but mainly the, the big land, uh, uh, area of land was the small, small type farms, cattle, cotton, and corn. But Hillary Griffin was born in Coffeyville, Mississippi. He has memories of the construction of the dam, what the area was like before construction. He recalls that families that lived and farmed the Schooner River Valley would have to move and leave all they had spent their entire lives working for. And they could not believe that they were going to be forced into that situation. Mr. Griffin admitted that Grenada gained from the construction of the dam. He said the dam had a great effect on Grenada. Business was better. Hotels, gas, fishing supplies. Grenada benefited greatly. There's a lot of activities like hunting, fishing, boating, recreation, swimming, playground, ball fields, and on and on. The Great Flood of 1927 brought much misery and suffering. But today, we can enjoy the many blessings brought about by the flood control effort. Mm -hmm.